Catch the beat. Right left. Right left. So do what feels right for you in this. We're going to march quite wide in this routine. So just check that it feels right for you. Take it wide. So wide might be here, or it might be here. Might be lifting the knees nice and high. Make it right for you. I'm going to stay somewhere in the middle. Feet back in. Doesn't look very, it looks very ungainly this one. Take it wide. Feet into the centre. Hold on. Two wide, two in. So it goes out, out, in, in. Make it as wide. Or as small as you want. So it could be really wide at the arms if you can. Don't worry if you can't. Or we'll just make it a small movement. Work with what feels right with your ankles. Marching in. And take it wide or wider, whatever is right for you. Two in, two out, in and wide. Hold it in. in. Take it wide. Let's do two each side. So, so tap and step, tap and step. Well done. If it doesn't work for you, if you can't quite get what I'm doing, make it up. As long as your body's comfortable and you're moving, it's all good. Well done. Marching in. Wide. Two in, two out. In. Well done. Stay facing me. I'm going to just lift the heels off the floor. So really massage the feet into the floor. Well done. I'll face you now. So keep on doing the same thing. Try and make sure your knees are tracking forward so you're not sort of taking them across the body or out to the side. Well done. You've got a bit faster. Again, your choice if you want to keep it smaller, but the toes stay on the ground. The joggers walk. Surprising how much hard work this can be. Arms in front. So again, stay facing me. Well done. Really pulling those toes up. Back to that jogger's walk. Pulling the tummy in, keep that head tall. Do what feels right with the arms. I'm just gently bending them. It's kind of a mini bicep curl. Let's do toe taps in front. So it's toes this time, point the toe. Really point that toe out in front. Maybe you can point with your finger as well. Do what feels right with the arms. The higher you lift them, the more likely you are to be working the back of your arms. Feel that in the back of the arms too. Well done. Last four count, and then we're going back to the jogger's walk. Are you ready? Well done. Pulling that belly in. Make sure you've got plenty of room behind you. 
We're going to keep those feet moving. Arm comes over. Just the one arm. I'm just doing the one because I know if I get too close to my wall, I'm going to brush my hand. So you need to turn until you can do that nicely. Circling back, change arms. If you need to make the, make the feet go half time, please do. It's quite hard. If that's too much, you could always take it to shoulders. But we're going to alternate the shoulders. And we're going to half time with the knees. Circle, circle, circle. Catch your breath. Well done. Ready for heels out in front. Stay facing me. Really pull those toes up towards your body. Do what feels right with the arms. Relax shoulders. Toe taps. Well done. Just catch the beat. Two are forward, two back. It's a small movement to start with. Well done. Try and keep those feet nice and light. Be aware of your ankles how they feel. If you want to make it a bit bigger, you can. But do what feels right for you. Remember, you've got to make it right to the end of the workout each time. So it's better to take it gentler if you need to, so that you can get all the way through to the end of the workout. Let's tap and change sides. Forward and back. So you should be starting with the left leg forward. Again, don't worry if you aren't, it really doesn't matter. You're moving, that's what's important. Burning a few calories. Well done. I'm gonna turn so you can see what I'm doing. And we're gonna come forward for four. Four, three, two with a toe tap. Stay facing now, turn to face you again. Always feels rude not to be facing you. Hold it here. March it a little bit wider. Two in, two out. I'm turning again so you can see what I'm going to do in a moment. We're going to march on the spot, three and tap. So three, two, one, and tap. Or knee lift if you can. So you have choices. You can tap the toe. You can knee lift. You can knee lift. I'm going to stay in the middle. Marching on the spot. In a moment, we're going to put all of that together. Take it wide. And let's see if we can confuse our brains. I'm marching wide still. Let's take it in. Two out, two in, two out, two in. You need space to march forward, so if you need to turn with me, please do. If not, stay facing me. So, forward, two, three, two knee lifts. Lift, lift, march it back. Two wide, two eye in, two wide, two in. So, forward, two, three, knee lift, knee lift. Back, two, three, two out, two in. In, two, one, two, three, knee lift. Well done, last one. Two out, two in. Hold it here. Two wide, two in. Well done. Catch your breath. Just marching through. Well done. Right, left, right, left. Bring the arms to the side. Bicep curl.
we're going to take the toes up, heels in front. So stay facing me, it's a lot easier to see what I'm doing. I'm really trying to lift those toes up, flex the foot. Bicep curls to the side. Let's march on the spot. Normal bicep curls are here. Very, very little movement. Very little work for the arms. You're burning a few more calories. Let's keep it here. Well done. Four, three, two. Let's pause it here. Hold it here. Just bounce. Bend the knees slightly. We're going to start up on the left leg first, so this side out. Are you ready? Four, three, two, marching. Left, right, left, right this time. Well done. Take the arms to the bicep curls. Well done. Working your brain slightly, but also changing the lead leg. Heels in front, lifting those toes. Well done. Keep moving. If you want to add a bit of attitude, you can. If you want a little bit, bit of a hop to make it harder, you can. Are you ready to march it through? March it right. Left, right even. With a bicep curl. Let's give those arms a little bit of a movement in a moment. Let's pause first. Right, left. Right, left. Right, left. Right, left, this side, this side, yeah? If you haven't got it, try and pause and catch. If you don't get it at all, don't worry, not a problem. Arms to shoulders. I'm off the beat too. <laughs> Think about pulling your belly in, hold it where you'd like it to be. Just be aware, lift that head tall. If it hurts your shoulders, if it's too much, you can keep it lower maybe, or leave the arms out altogether. Now, let's change those arms out to the side. Take it under, and up, and up, and circle, and circle, other way, circle. Really feel those shoulders working, way. Well done. Everything feels so abstract. Yeah, it's complicated. What you so say beginning, you beginning to bring the heart rate down a little bit now with a gentle movement. Put across the body. Well done. Just keep it gentle. Those arms relaxed. Let's take it two steps. Catch your breath. If you're still feeling a little bit breathless now, please, 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 make it smaller. This is our cool down, getting us nice and relaxed. Single side steps. How it hurts to see you smile like a dagger hit me. She just seems to keep it as small as you need to, make it comfortable. Almost on the spot now. hit with the part you should be able to balance nicely if your feet are too close together you're going to struggle with this I'm going to turn so you can see what I'm doing 
Let's hold that heel down. Lean slightly forward. The front knee is above the ankle, adjust the foot. So you might need to be a little bit further away if you're not feeling the stretch in here in the calf muscle. If that's too tight, bring it here. Relax forward, relax your back, relax your upper body, lean on the leg if you need to. And just hold that stretch for down. Let's change sides. Taking the other leg back, lift and lower. Return to the other side. So again, my feet are fairly wide, wide enough to be balanced, lifting up onto the toe, pushing the heel down. Adjust that front leg so that as you straighten the leg, whether it be here or whether it be here, that you're getting that heel just to the floor. Let's hold that there. Well done. Feel the stretch in your calf. Relax the upper body. 